right, all right, no time to chat because there's so much to do, especially considering apparently there was some kind of a windstorm that went ahead and, well, wind, wind, oh no. <laughs> yes, that went ahead and ended up doing something on the farm I'm going to have to take care of. Uh, oh, ooh, and I think it's actually raining today too, which means I need to check in on all the animals. And good morning, Leah. Oh, a mushroom. Good morning. I got up early and did some mushroom hunting. Here, take one. Thank you so much. I wonder if I can actually cook it into something nice. Because that would be really sweet. Also, have I cooked everything? I have not. There, too. Ooh, ginger ale. I didn't know I could make ginger ale. Ooh, and it adds luck. Okay, that sounds fantastic. There's the triple shot espresso. Uh, pumpkin pie. Well, kind of tis the season for that, too. Moss soup. I just got goosebumps. I just got goosebumps. Because what has been my favorite thing since the very first day I stepped foot in Stardew? It has been moss. That was my favorite thing. And so every time one eats a starfruit, we feel that it tastes of moss. <laughs> and now I can actually make moss soup. Okay, that's going to be a very, very special, like, holiday day in our household. Uh, but can I make anything with the... I could make a... St <gasps> Leah loves stir fry! Yes! Okay, Leah, I don't have time for this, to be completely honest. But actually, as soon as that came out of my mouth, I felt bad because, you know... Uh, ooh, aged octopus row. Is that what I'm doing with the row? I'm putting it somewhere to age? I didn't know that. Um, also, good morning, noodles! I'm glad to see that you are sleeping outside of the rain. Noodles, do, do, do you remember how to go ahead and like get oil? Because I don't. Is it in the basement? In the basement where I hoped, against all hope, that we would actually also find... Oh my gosh, okay, while well, we're here. No, don't drink that, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no, no, stop, 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 stop. Don't drink it, don't drink it, just collect, thank you. Oh, but, oh my gosh, oh, okay. I thought hopefully our super cucumber would be in here. But, actually, I do believe, friends, that uh, our super cucumber is probably in the shed. And thankfully, I think I managed to go ahead and get that door fixed. I worked on it late in the night. Um, and then, you know, well, we kind of ended up having... Ooh, truffle oil. Wait, was I supposed to use truffle oil? Oh, no, I can't remember. Okay, we're going to haul that upstairs just in case. Um, let's see. And then I need to go ahead and grab... How about the gold quality ancient fruits this time? Just to go ahead and make sure we start off on a strong foot. Whoops. I really... Speaking of, like, feet, I really need to figure out how to get my feet under myself because I just seem to be uh, all over the place. But you know what? Not bad. Not bad for having gone ahead and woken back up in my home. After so long of not being in it. Uh, no, don't eat the common mushroom. Oh, I think I can only put truffles in there. Yes. All right, we'll go ahead and maybe add some of that. Do I have a truffle? I do. All right, truffle. Can you go in this thing? You can. Excellent. One project done. <laughs> Leah, to be completely honest, I don't really have time to make the stir fry, especially because I don't think I remembered. Nope, I need just oil. Well, I have fancy oil uh, and that wasn't enough. So, tell you what, we'll circle back around, and I, I can't believe I said that, and I will do my best here. Um, okay, let me give the kids a little pat on the head, and you, Noodles. I heard you, Noodle Doodles. Do you want a sibling? Kind of like, you know, Rowan, my son, got a sibling with Little Clover, because, and speaking of Little Clover, yeet, yeet the baby, there we go. Where's Little Rowan? There you are! Good, good, good. And you're all right, too. Excellent. Okay, well, there's a lot to get done during the day, including going to check in on the shed so that I can see if the super cucumber wasn't there. And I, I think the door is now not stuck anymore. Maybe the windstorm managed to knock some things loose. Hey, Rose Stone. Also, good morning, Rose Stone. Ooh, a little bit of maple. I have no idea how I'm ever going to keep my pockets anything close to uh, functional, but maybe that's okay. All right, let's go ahead and we'll get more Iridium bars going. I wonder if I should go ahead and ask... Maybe the scythe getting upgraded wouldn't be the worst thing in the world? But maybe I should wait to do that until 
after I end up taking care of a whole bunch of the other things that need done around the farm, like cutting down some of the, the weeds, if not the grass. And I just remembered that I'm pretty sure sunflower seeds make the oil that I needed to make my wife her breakfast. Well, you can only do what you can do. <laughs> All right, let's see. We'll put that in. And I actually think that we have some geode crackers here, right? <gasps> we do, Rose Stone! That is what those are! Oh, memory! You slippery eel, you. You're beginning to come back to me. <gasps> A new baby chick? Oh my gosh, and I need to name it just off the bat like that. This is this is a lot of a lot of pressure. Um oh man. Uh, truffle? Do I have a truffle? I probably have a truffle. But maybe not. Let's err on the side of hoping. I haven't used such a kind of obvious thing before. Oh my gosh. So where is the baby chick? Can I see? Also, oh is that it? Is it a blue hen? Because we're really going for more of the the blue chickens, but I I don't know. Do blue hens give, like, are, are, are chicks blue if they are a blue hen? There's so many things I need to learn about the world still. All right, let's gather these up, and then we'll give everybody a pat. I'm glad to see that, thankfully, our auto feeders are going to... Oh, hey, Jade! Are automatically and sweepy! Going to take care of everything. And Xena, good to see you, too. Let's see. And little, little itty bitty baby truffle. Curious, but a little cautious. It's a strange new world. Oh, truffle, we'll have to see if you are indeed going to- Hey, can't tell. I actually was going for this, thank you. Oh my gosh. How many, how many eggs did I have? Literally, like, stumbling on top of eggs. Hello, sunflower. Yes, yes, I would please like to put some of these eggs away for just a minute. All of my wonderful chickens. Very good to see all of you too. <laughs> oh, my word. Uh, let's see. Oh, I don't have any iridium eggs yet. That's wonderful. Good job, chickens. I'm glad that you guys are that happy. And I guess, is that an iridium quality egg? Or is it just like a, a star quality? But they all have little stars on them. These are the kinds of questions that can continue to just give you a small headache. Uh, as you try to understand the world around you. Is that- there's another egg. <laughs> well, I think we've got plenty to hint that if I ever did want to go ahead and perhaps experience another side of life in another world and do some sort of roost to riches event, that we might be successful. Especially if there's some weird blue grass that I have- oh my gosh, it's already done. I shouldn't have put these in because now I'm so excited. Jasper! Have I ever had Jasper before? I don't know. Have I have I submitted this to the museum? There's a there's a thing I haven't had yet. Oh, apparently I found five of them. So yes, I have had this before, which means I probably have gone ahead and put it in the museum before. Uh, but hey, good news is that we're headed over to the shed where I store such treasures anyway. All right, Roston, come along, my dear. We'll have to check in on everybody else in a little bit because time is passing and I need to see if I will be able to complete this quest for a very large, very confusing raccoon who happens to be... <gasps> yes! Freedom! Freedom! My shed has returned to me and I can even... Oh my gosh, I can even go ahead and I can have... I can have music! Oh my goodness, okay, uh, let's see. Playful, pleasant memory. Uh, oh, flower dance, always a good time. Um, summer's crescendo. Oh my gosh, land of green and gold. I'll take that. I'll take that. Aww. Aww, I like this. Oh, I'm looking at all of this. Wow, wow! <laughs> Hold up, that's a lot of treasure! I didn't realize I had this much. I am... Do I need to, like, install a security system? Can I get an exceptionally aggressive, like, baby dinosaur or maybe a duck? Can I have a goose? Because I, I, I might need to protect all of this. From whom and what? I don't know. But this is, um... To be fair, this is a lot more treasure than I realized we had. It's all so shiny. 
I can't wait. Look at this place. It's full of treasures. Our treasures. Wow, I can't wait to be able to properly decorate it. Oh, this is so cool. I haven't seen these in forever. A golden relic? I don't even know what that's about. And we, of course, have our dinosaur eggs and anchor, rainbow shells, mummified bats, ancient dolls that totally don't... I would put those in so the kids could play with them, but I'm a little dubious about them. We have a few of the forged goods I think I was starting to collect over here. I guess I can throw the maple syrup in there just because. And then, I don't think we have anything on that side yet, but this is the moment of truth. Will this be the place that I can find what I'm looking for? A super cucumber to give to a very fat raccoon. Or, excuse me, <clears throat> to a, a, a very well-established raccoon who is hanging out in the forest. I, it's right here. Oh my gosh. I'm so relieved. I'm so relieved. We could go and probably fish one up, hopefully fairly soon, either at Ginger Island, where I believe it is, or because it is indeed autumn, perhaps over at the beach itself. But I just have so much to do. <laughs> and that at least, that at least will let me take care of one of those many things. Oh, to celebrate, I feel like I should put some of the fish in the other tanks too. But I don't know. Do we really have... I mean, we have gold quality coral. Can I put that in? I can! Woo! And I guess the other two are actually, like, legendary fish that I've tucked in, aren't they? The crimson fish, living deep in the ocean, but likes to lay its eggs in the warm summer water. And the glacial fish, builds a nest on the underside of glaciers. There are many fish that actually truly do that, which I find refreshing, invigorating, and fascinating. Okay, cactus fruit. Seven wedding rings. I was a little ambitious. <laughs> Rosestone! Good news! We do happen to go ahead and have what I was looking for. Thank freaking goodness. How are our deer? Aha! <gasps> they did leave truffles out! Oh, that's gonna be a heck and a half to find if I'm leaving the truffles out here for them. Oh dear. Also, I'm noticing none of our trees here on the farm happen to have any of the moss growing on them. That may actually hinder my devious plans, but we will have to see. Also, for somebody who can't remember how to cook mushrooms, I have got a lot of them, to say the least. <laughs> Let's see, what is this? Okay, so I do have a few spots I need to clear out some of these if I'm gonna be able to access all of my precious plants. And then how are our little dinos doing? Uh, what is this? Oh, it's a little tree. Little tree, as precious as you are, I do need space. <gasps> I need grass for them. The dinos do come out and they like to eat the little grasses. Oh, oh my gosh. And they, <gasps> they would have been blocked inside. All right, trees. Trust me. I love you. This is not, this is, this is not that you've done something wrong, lovely tree. It's just that I think you're going to cause my poor little dinosaurs to starve. Oh, I feel, I feel like I have a vault. Oh my gosh. Mossy seed. Remember how I said perhaps we would go ahead and have the spring onion of friendship as a future sticker that our wonderful artist Alari could create for our Patreon postcards that we do every month? And in theory one day open the secret shop thing because I only have a few of them, but that's another story. I take it back. Mossy seed. To grow rare wild trees. A place of honor in my home. That is what this seed is going to recede. A place of honor. Indeed. Also, I have so many adorable tiny dinosaurs. I wonder if I should like sell some of them, but we could say that I'm sending them to like Zudesia. And so then we could just add them over in Zudesia and say that we were just like sending them over there. Asparagus. So, aw, Trichy. 
Oh, I don't even remember why you have that name, but it's adorable. Hello, Arugula and Sugar Snap. You guys are pretty old and Kale for not having a lot of hearts. I need to give you guys more pats. All right. Well, since we've been checking in on the animals, I feel like it's only appropriate to go ahead and at least take a little peek at what these guys are doing in the barn and also clear that out of the way so they can have more food room. Um, and speaking of food room, I, oh, I just need fiber to make the grass starter. Excellent. I can snag some of that so our dinos can have plenty to, to nibble. And hello everyone! Primrose, I know you're in here somewhere! Bluebell, I know you're in here somewhere too! Oh, it's so good to see you! Do I have more room for more of you? Because it seems like we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We could have four more of you? That's so exciting! What do you guys think? Do you guys want to go ahead and have some siblings? Where's the milker? Primrose. Primrose, my dear. Allow pregnancy. Primrose, I don't remember if that can just happen on its own or not. We'll have to find out. And do you... Do you happen to know the location of the milker? Well, that settles the question of if we're going to take care of milking all of the animals today or not, doesn't it? Ah... Uh, but, like, Leah and I, part of our, our farm's fame, or infamy, as one might even consider it, is our goat cheese that we sell. And, oh, shiny things, stay away from me, I'm gonna get distracted again. Alright, so. Place of honor. Right in front of my home. Mossy, beautiful, precious seed. Grow. Grow to your heart's desire. I hope that it, it, I don't even know what I want it to do, but I hope it does something. Also, espresso time. I feel like my poor, my poor Sims, Rocky and Ashlyn, frantically busy tossing back espresso in our rags to, or, well, ranch to riches adventures, while they try to keep up with the pair of alien twins that hopefully all of you will see soon. Let's see. So do I have anything? The wheat seeds we can put in corn seeds. Summer, 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 summer. Oh, that's right. I was trying to arrange these by seed sin, with these ones being the autumnal seeds. That's right. I remember that now. I'll put the beet seeds in here. And then what could I age over here in the keg? I don't think I have anything I could put in there right now. All right. Roll stone. Let us carry on. Now we shall go ahead. Oh, wait, I have bunnies. And we shall give the bunnies. Oh, wow. Oh, I forgot all about this. But that's okay. We're learning. Hello, everyone. Kiki, hi. You guys do not happen to have a Fraterina. Did I? Hisop? I know I gave Hisop a name, but they don't even have any food in here. Oh, I'm so glad we came over here so I could see that. Otherwise, they might have gone without anything to eat today. And that would have made me so sad. Also, it kind of cracks me up to see that there's literally... There you go, guys. I know you probably didn't need that much food. There you go. Hi, Hisop. Hi, Kiki. You guys do take care of yourselves, all right? I mean, I, I'm probably going to need those lucky rabbit's feet if I'm going to be able to survive. All right, let's see. And actually, I would not mind... Oh, hello! Who do I have in here? No, don't eat my pomegranate. There we go. Uh, let's see. Sturgeon row. I feel like that's important for something, but I can't- <gasps> Wait, important for something! That's right! I'm supposed to be hunting a prismatic jelly that's causing chaos in the in the mines! And today would have been a perfect day for it because it's raining! Well, actually- Uh, what? Rostan. If you could wait there for just a moment, my dear. Also, we're only one moss away from an exceptionally important moment. And why is there a green... Oh my gosh, okay. Uh... Um... The old tree of go is gone. However, with a hundred pieces of hardwood, it could be fixed up. Oh. Oh. Say no more. Say no more. 
piles of, of, of hardwood. Mysterious raccoons requesting super cucumbers for snackies. I don't need to ask questions. I just need to be pointed in the direction of a plant, and you'll have... I mean, I, I mean, you don't even have to give me the answers. Just give me the joy of being near the plant. Just a bit more hardwood. Let's see, a hundred. We just might have a good... Well, maybe a pile of twigs. I'm gonna have to... Oh man, I'm gonna have to search the house again! <laughs> Am I gonna just end up spending very chill days maybe going ahead and potentially having a baby guinea pig and a little scarf sleeping against my neck whilst um, we go ahead and try to catch up on all this and sort things like reasonable people uh, maybe all right so let's see if we can find one more moss rose stone and take this super cucumber to the hungry raccoon uh -huh, one more moss one more moss yes okay very happy about that because it means we can now make a mushroom log which i am so doing on this rainy day and hey it fits the theme of leah having gone ahead and given me some you know mushrooms in the morning let's see what else do we have down here and then I might pop over and I might see if we happen to have... Yay, Moss! I got you. Got you. If we happen to have more hardwood somewhere in the house that I could provide. Also, this is really pretty. I like that little lily pad. Okay, quick check. Ooh, yay, Blackberry! I guess it is the season for that too. Check up here. Rose stone, it's been so long! Rose stone is by the door. Rose stone. Um, whoops, okay, I don't want to just come, like, rolling in with, with my axe swinging. Uh, that'd be a little rude. Um, rose stone, there's a door in the forest. There's a large raccoon. Rose, ro, uh, stone? Rose stone? You don't see this rose stone because you're not in here. What? What? Is this, is this something that, 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 that is, is, is beckoning me, challenging me to rise to some sort of fame as a farmer, as a fighter of evil slimes, as a miner of secrets, as a relaxed fisher, and as a moss-obsessed carpenter? Forger? Hello? My dear Siri, if you're reading this note, you found the secret room I prepared for you. Within these walls are tips, recipes, and even some of my most cherished tools. All the very best from the many happy years I spent in the valley. By coming this far, you'll have proven that you possess the skill and wisdom to make a good use of these powerful secrets. I hope my discoveries help you in your journey to making Mossley Farm a shining star of the whole world. Deep irony, considering. Make me proud, Grandpa. Oh, what? Oh my gosh. I need to upgrade that scythe after all. Farming mastery. The iridium scythe can be used to harvest any crops. It's also excellent at gathering hay. The statue of blessing. Touch the statue to give a unique blessing every day. And now, you can find golden animal crackers, which permanently double a farm animal's production, but doesn't work on pigs. Does that stack? So I can just... stuff poor primrose full of animal crackers and get endless amounts of goat cheese? Can I claim it? Oh, I cannot claim it yet. But, but, how does one... How does one reach such mastery? I thought my skills were already skilled. I thought I was, I thought, Grandpa, I already have 11, oh, whoa, ooh, huh, hmm, hmm, ah, okay, let's see, all right, mastery, level 4 house, 57 levels in skull caverns, the questions beckon me deeper, fishing, advanced iridium rod, challenge bait, the perfect catch yields triple the fish. However, each time a fish escapes the fishing bar, the catch is reduced. And now you can encounter golden fishing chest. That's all I need to know for treasure finding. 
Mining Mastery, Statue of the Dwarf King. Choose from two mining-related powers each day. The Heavy Furnace, more efficient than a regular furnace. Interesting. Gem-bearing rocks now grant twice the gems. Look, I know we're already rolling in gemstones, but I want more. <laughs> Mystic Tree Seed from Forging Mastery. Oh, treasure totem used on diggable terrain to summon a ring of treasure spots. Oh, like a circle, like a fairy ring of noodle doodles dancing around you, which would be kind of scary, creepy, weird, but also cool. <gasps> and then the combat mastery. The anvil allows you to reforge trinkets, randomizing their stats. And the mini forge. Now you can use a dwarf dwarfish forge from the convenience of our home. And we can unlock new slots for trinkets. I think that may have something to do with the big giganto uh, forge inside of the volcano. Rose stone. Rose stone. This, this is a bigger deal than I anticipated. There's more going on. I feel almost a little, a little affronted, but in a very deeply satisfied way that Grandpa feels that we still do not have the mastery that is required of um, being able to to make the most of the valley. Also, did the fat raccoon go away? Friend, maybe. Wasn't it over here, Rose Stone? Oh no! <laughs> Wait, maybe it doesn't come out with the rain. Ew, I'm gonna leave that blackberry there, to be honest. <laughs> I'm not taking the blackberry that's next to the open sewage. Oh my word. No, my raccoon friend! Alright, look, maybe he just doesn't like to come out in the rain. And I guess I need to go ahead and get home. Alright, Rose Stone. Um... I know that you conveniently like to go ahead and walk home yourself, my dear. So you'd like to spend a little time in the forest, <clears throat> of course, just relaxing. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to do this and I'll see you back home tomorrow. I feel guilty. <laughs> I shouldn't feel guilty, but I feel a little guilty. <laughs> also, there's a lot going on. Which direction to even go? Where did I put my milker? Why so many questions? So much happening. <laughs> so much happening. Um, oh man. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, a lot happening. All right, maybe I can at least put some of these things away. I know where the fruit goes, because I happen to be like, well, like a citrus goblin. All right, noodles. So... In case I needed more to make myself spin in circles and, you know, do a little of this, do a little of that, do a little of I tried to do something but now I'm confused, help me. Uh, this is happening. I, I am very curious what exactly Grandpa wants from us if he considers having somehow grown cactuses that poured out pearls into our pockets as not being on the level of farming mastery that he was anticipating. Did he not approve of its non-traditional, like, practices? Also, what happened to my farm with the whole, like, there was wind, things fell over? My apple tree wasn't able to grow, but everything else... Everything else seems okay. Oh wait, the giant stump! How did I forget about the giant stump?! <laughs> Alright, time to go ahead and dig through all of these chests and see if somewhere in this assortment of many things I happen to have some sort of um pile of hardwood just handily hanging around. And you know what, at least with me, at least with the Siri, you never know. Like, you literally never know. She doesn't know, so I literally don't know. And that means that things could turn out a lot of, um, a lot of different ways. I just might have some hardwood. It's probably with the chickens. <laughs> but alright, everyone, thank you. Aha! See, I told you! Ten hardwood! That's a little bit closer. Ooh, and actually, the, the lionfish would be quite fun to go ahead and put into the shed, if I happen to go that way. Uh, maybe I can at least drop it off there because, like I said, that we're we're already we're already up a kettle without a fish. Leah, always remember to keep your eyes peeled for wild food. There's lots out there. 
I mean, if you just look out our front door, it does indeed seem like that too, doesn't it? All right! Ooh, pretty! Well? Grow a little mossy seed? <gasps> My Junimo friends! You're here! I was worried about you guys! <laughs> and we have so much to do. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye